Whenever you're coloring animal images, it's fun to be able to add a little texture to create the look of fur or feathers. And the new stamp set, Under the Weather, is perfect for this technique. Let me show you how to do this. First, I'm going to take this little mouse stamp, and he's laying on a pillow. He's not feeling very well. And I'm going to ink him up with some of the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Then I'm going to stamp it onto some of the Gina K Designs Heavy Base Weight Ivory Cardstock. Like that. Look at how nice and crisp that image is. Then I'm going to use E33, which is sand. It's the sand color Copic marker. And I'm using the original marker, but you can use sketch markers, chow markers, or you can do this technique with other types of alcohol markers like Sharpies or Bix or any of the Prismacolors, any of the markers that are alcohol based. I'm going to use the small side and I'm going to color this whole little mouse in in this nice sandy brown color. I really like doing this technique on our ivory cardstock because it really absorbs the colorless blender and you'll see what I mean when I get to that part. Now I'm going to leave space on his nose and his mouth because I want to make those pink. And just color the rest of them here. Finishing up here on his last little ear. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of the pink to the inside of his ears, like that, to the tip of his nose, his mouth, and that one little pad on the bottom of his foot. Now here's the fun part. The Copic uh, Various Ink comes in these little tubes, and the Colorless Blender also comes in a larger size bottle. If you find yourself doing a lot of this type of technique, you may want to pick up a larger bottle. But this works great for the occasional uh, technique and to refill your markers. Then what I've done here is I've taken a little piece of a washcloth and I've just cut it, and now I'm just going to push up all those little scrubby things on the washcloth there to make them stick up. And I'm going to turn it into a little tool like that. Then, taking a little bit of the colorless blender, I'm going to pour that onto the top there of that washcloth. And then, very lightly, I'm going to dab this onto his body, like that. Now, can you see that created all of that texture? See how it just pulled the color right off? Do it again to his head, to his arm. And it's okay if you go off of him. It's not going to hurt your project at all. You don't have to try to stay within the lines. That's okay, because the colorless blender, you'll see it for a second, but then it will evaporate and dry, and you won't see it anymore. And wherever you see you need a little bit more, you can just dab on there a little bit more. Now, I'm going to take my colorless blender pen. I have the chow one here, and I'm going to use the brush side. And I'm just going to remove a little bit more ink from his face. Just to make his face a little bit paler there. And then I'm going to take, go back and take that pink marker, and using the bullet side, I'm going to just create a little bit of pink on his cheek there like he's flushed with a fever. Poor little thing. There we go. Isn't that so cute? Now let me show you my finished card project. Here I've used this pretty background paper and I've created a little uh, ribbon slide here using one of the greetings from this Under the Weather stamp set, sending hugs and kisses and get well wishes. I've also colored in the little Kleenex tissue box here, and I've cut that out and I've popped it up with a pop dot. And that kind of finishes off that little hump in this ribbon slide, kind of like the way that looks, and then the tissues are right by him. And then I've added a little bit of double stitched ribbon, and I've put the whole thing onto an ivory card base. 
Try this technique for the petals of flowers, leaves, birds, and even clothing when coloring people stamps. You will love adding texture to so many of your line art images.